Hi guys, Robert here. Now let's take a look at getting my wife back and making our marriage better. Okay, some say that the best marriages are the ones where you fall in love over and over again. For a man to say that they want their wife back is something that I admire very much. And couples are breaking up and getting divorced everywhere you turn these days. For so many, it seems that they are throwing away what appears to be their everything. The majority of marriage breakups begin with the smallest problems and then ferment it into a full blown, I can't stand it, I want to be happy, breakup, separation, and all divorce. Now the truth is, marriage does take some good amount of effort and I feel that we seem to get married and then just take things for granted that all will be well, she'll be right. Now I was where you are with many mixed feelings saying I want to get my wife back and I was someone who did take things for granted and winning my wife's love back was not easy. I had to learn and become a lot more understanding. But looking in the mirror, it was totally worth it. Life is much easier now and our love is so much more stronger. Now the best thing that I did learn is, with some wisdom, any problem, you can find a solution. Now my advice to get your wife back is all about changing your focus. You see, our natural instinct to get back together is to plead for their forgiveness. Tell them that we're sorry and we have changed and things will be different. Hound them with phone calls, text messages, Facebook, and would we'll literally try and do anything for them. Go to the supermarket, mow the lawns, or just about anything. Now this may work for some women, but the emotional benefits and marriage success is not so effective. Now this time, to get your wife back and create a happy relationship, you need to take a different approach. The best thing you could do right now is give each other the necessary space that you need and focus on yourself. For getting your wife back, you have to evaluate what was honestly wrong with why you have separated and take responsibility for what was yours and make the required changes where you feel is needed. But more importantly, you need to get yourself back to your happy space. You want your wife to see that you are fine without her. It's not that you want to be without her, but you have to let her see that you're fine without her. Let her see that you're in control and happy, that you've let go, not of the marriage, but of the heartache and the pain. You have to start doing things that you enjoy and catch up with some good old mates that you haven't seen for a while. Invest in some new clothes that will increase your confidence or go out hunting or fishing or race on the track or just anything that, that makes you feel good. And doing this alone will give your wife the impression that she may be missing out, and no doubt she could possibly come looking for your attention. Now, making a marriage better, the most biggest and overlooked fault in relationship tension is the blame game. It's like a boxing match gone crazy. The fact is, there really is no blame in anything. Blame is totally overrated in life. We as adults need to work harder to see 
past that and find the reason for any given problem. To do this, when there is a build-up of emotions leading to anger, it pays to be able to walk away and have some time out to calm down and think clearer. And to keep your marriage alive, you need to be encouraging and allow time for personal space and also time for just the two of you. After all, you get married because you love someone and, join their, and enjoy their company, right? Even if it's just taking a walk in the park or the beach, anything, so long as it's something that you both enjoy. Well, even the odd sacrifice to doing something that you don't like, but she likes, does go a long way, and it shows appreciation and respect. Women always add the little things up, good or bad, so if you can think of a little things that she likes, do them, or get them. You will receive ten times from her. Always be positive. Be the one who looks at the good and you will stay on top. Thanks for giving this your time. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please just click the like button down there. And If you really want to make things easier and get a detailed plan and guidance on making this work, don't hesitate to click the description link below to um, further advice.